Welcome everybody, François Le Tarte, JDR D30 and uh, making a video response to uh, Chalice and Chains uh, players buy in the, a video about the, the player's commitment in the game uh, he describes that uh, he puts lots of work and time on this game but he sees that the level of commitment is very different from one player to another and uh, yeah they the often players may not see the game uh, the same way as a game master and that's totally natural um, yeah I don't have big uh, big tips here but uh, maybe share some ideas uh, about you know how I see it when I I'm the game master uh, usually players when you know the players that are always the players the players that has never been in the game master's seat they often you know outside of the game they don't they don't continue to play okay you know they, they, they play when they sit down at the table and when the, the session is over well the game is over and the next time they will think about the game it's the next time they will sit down at the table that's something I saw often. So as a game master, I often expect that. Well, I expect that, but uh, sometimes I, I try to, you know, I, I may try to, when I begin a new campaign with new players, I, I may try to, you know, email them some stuff just to see how they respond. And, uh, and, I, and I will spot the players that will uh, get into that. So. Uh, if I see some players that really buy in that commitment, I, I will work with them. But I will work that, that, with them to include the others that don't uh, get into that level of commitment when they sit at the table for them to have good times too. But uh, I, uh, you know, I I can send some hints on things they can do between sessions, but it's always optional for me. Uh, most of the time, unless I have a, a very committed players. Usually committed players, uh, they often have been in the game master seat, so they know what it is and they, and they have to be passionate about it, of course. Um, well, when I'm a player, I'm very committed. You know, I, I, I try to do some stuff between sessions. Um, you know, if I take the example of the Dark Eye in which I'm involved, uh, my commitment was more about, you know, I have read the rule book, you know, I've read the rules. I think it was at least something that could maybe help the game master, though I'm not <laughs> a very uh, expert in the dark eye, but, you know, at least I have read some stuff in the book and I apply it in the game. You know, if I see that the game master maybe have forgotten a, a rule or something, I just uh, apply it to myself, uh, you know, just as in game I will say okay I'll do that and uh, I roll this and the game master will remember that yeah yeah that rule yeah, you, you, that, that that's the right rule okay so so yeah the, just by having read the rules I felt more committed uh, since it's a Google Hangout game you know I've rewatched all the games <laughs> Yeah, 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 just put them in the background and it's quite good. It's like taking notes. And um, yeah, so 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 that, that that's something I, I do with by myself. And I think that uh, some that kind of commitment, you will see more of that from players who have been game masters. But uh, usually, you know, I've, I've made some experiments and uh, I've tried to approach players and many different campaigns with different levels of commitment needed and uh, yeah that, that's the way I do it you know I when I begin when I begin something new I just uh, try to email the players telling them that these stuff you could read these are stuff you could read that these are stuff these this is stuff you can have I'll try to make it uh, the, the shorter as possible a shorter article on Wikipedia or uh, or something you know if I have a PDF of a book I will just uh, copy a part of the text and send that into an email 
Okay, you, you come from that place and I copy the, the paragraph that explains the, the, the kingdom from where the character is coming off. And I hope they read it. Uh, if they don't, I, I will suggest them, but it's still optional. Okay, it's a game. And from in the head of most of the people, the game happens when it's game time. Outside of the game, they won't. You know, I've been very lucky in the past. I had a Star Wars campaign that lasted for years, and the players were we were were very committed. All of them, well, mostly all of them. The one that weren't committed, it didn't show up that much since the the players who were committed uh, were uh, yeah were putting themselves lots of work into uh, the game. So we had, uh, you know, we, we had a f our own forums where we posted lots of stuff in between game stuff and uh, we had lots of email exchanges, some emails with, uh, you know, specific players telling stuff about themselves for them to keep secret or to share with the other players around the table. We had mission, all the missions briefing were online. We were we were typing the mission briefing, and when we we sat down at the table, the game was starting, and we had Amazon chats, and he, we were very busy between sessions, and uh, yeah, that but that, that's I think the only case in all the games I have done. So levels of commitment may vary wildly. You know, it may it may be very different from one person to another. It's normal. So, yeah, they make things optional, you know. If if you, you decide that the player should really read that in order to be in your campaign and you don't, you, you, you will be upset. <laughs> so, you, yeah, try to make stuff optional. It's cool if they have read it. If they don't, well, maybe they will miss something, but uh, at least... It depends on the player. It depends on why the players are around your table. If it, if these are your friends, you know, sometimes it's, they just yeah just want to hang around with you at game time, but not outside of it. But maybe you you will be lucky and find committed players will buy in. And if they do, like I said, well, uh, pick the occasion. To give them just a little more homework if they want to, and that homework that that can help the other players get involved when it's game time. Well, that was quite rambly, but uh, that's my thought about uh, your videos. And feel free to leave comments. And uh, yep, yeah. so François de Tarte, JDRD30. Up to next time. Have as much fun in your life as in your games. Bye.